of mountains and wide sun beat plains and drunk rivers pacing the vast sea a field of creation and spiritual hush silence swallowing life's acts into the deeps of thought's transcendent climb and heavenward dream. A brooding world of reverie and thought filled with the mightiest works of God and man, where nature seemed a dream of the divine, and beauty and grace and grandeur had their home, harbored the childhood of the incarnate flame. Intense philosophies pointed earth to heaven, sculpture and painting concentrated sense upon an inner vision's motionless world. The architecture of the infinite discovered here its inward musing shapes, captured into wide bursts of soaring stone. Music brought down celestial yearning song held the merged heart absorbed in rapturous depths. The world interpreting movements of the dance molded idea and mood to rhythmic sweat. A friend, and yet too great wholly to know. She walked in their front towards a greater light. Their leader and queen over their hearts and souls. One close to their bosoms, yet divine and far. They were moved by her towards great unknown things. Some turned to her against their nature's bent, divided between wonder and revolt, impatient subjects, their tired longing hearts, hugging the bonds close of which they most complained, murmured at a yoke they would have wept to lose the splendid yoke of her beauty and her love. The force in her drew earth's subhuman bones, and to her spirit's large and free delight 
She joined the ardent, huge, magnificent lives of animals and bird and flower and tree. They answered to her with a simple heart. Hidden sky. 
but like a shining answer from the gods, approached through some bright spaces, Savitri. An impromptu from the deeper sight within thoughts rose in him that knew not their own scope. Then, to those large and golden depths whence love regarded him across the straits of man. He spoke in sentences from the unseen heights. Accustomed scenes were now an ended play, moving in new amid familiar power, touched by new magnitude and fairy sight. She turned to vastnesses not yet her home, and lured her heart from the unknown sweetness, the secrets of an unseen world were closed. When the pale dawn slipped through night's shadowy guard, vainly the newborn light desired her face. The palace waked to its own emptiness. Sovereign of its daily joys was far. Her moonbeam feet think not the lucent floor, the beauty and divinity were gone, the light had fled to serve. Well. 